It's insane. I've never seen anything like this. It's absolutely massive. To get a scale of it, you almost need to see somebody walking down because if you look behind and all around, it's just an insanely large canal. Day five of my adventure trip to Egypt and Socotra Island, Yemen. Reading from my travel diary. The cave. And what a cave. But it takes some effort to reach Hawk Cave. Its entrance located high above the northern coast overlooking the Arabian Sea. The trail leading up there is strenuous in the heat of the morning. Many new plants and trees to discover as we make our way up. Let's go! to the Hawk Cave, one of the most spectacular sites on Socotra. Great place, absolutely gorgeous. And finally reaching the portal. You cannot simply call it an entrance. Almost 100 meters wide, perhaps 50 meters high, opening up to a hall decorated with the most unusual shapes and patterns. I changed my video gear to the Osmo Gimbal to better catch the width and height of this architectural jewel created over the eons by water and erosion. But this is not the cave yet. A wide opening, lined by stalactites and columns, lead the way. time our vocabulary of superlatives is exhausted. Millions, billions of stalactites of all sizes line the ceilings. Shadow and light filtering in from the entrance, columns without end, curtains in silvery and red colors, drops of water silently dripping from myriads of calcite points, still growing crystals in the process to produce more beauty. We are speechless as we continue the path, slowly leading us downward into the darkness. about 40 meters wide at the entrance, narrowing as we follow the marked track. High as a cathedral, if anything is a cathedral, Hawk Cave is, and it would be one of the greatest. For all water, the most otherworldly place I have ever been to was one of the comments. Wow. No other cave will impress me anymore, another. It is a good thing we have so many torches with us. The structures to explore are really large, 
and it would take many more torches to light up the whole space around us. After a long walk down hills, the path ends for us at a beautiful pool. Drop by drop, it is being replenished by the stalactites above.
here before we leave the cave that we find the most awe-inspiring place, not too far away from the entrance. Daylight filters in, and the columns and the largest stalactites cast their shadows into the eternal darkness of Hawk Cave. The mist created by the humid air produces an eerie scenery, most otherworldly indeed. Thank you.